today I'm playing Banished, which is a uh, medieval city sim game. Um, I actually bought it at the end of June. Uh, going on easy settings here. In the June in the sale, and uh, didn't really remember to play it until Saturday, at which point I played it almost non stop for about 12 hours until half past five in the morning. Um, so yes, it's that sort of game. It's quite funny, these this text at the bottom here. Colouring terrain. Pollinating flowers. Milking cows. Restricting cameras. Right. Let's just pause it. Start off with, I have some cows. I have some houses. I have an enormous stockpile of stuff. Because I'm on the easy level. What I need to do first of all primary thing I need to do at this point is organise food. Because if you don't get food, everybody dies and everybody starves and dies really quickly. Now I can zoom out a bit, just get a wider view. So food food production menu is this this one with the apple on it. I'm gonna put a fishing dock in. Put a fishing dock in right behind the house there. There, right. For the tools, let's just check my population. Let's assign two builders. So that's going on. And while that's going on, I want to pick up some of these resources. So I'm going to uh, remove resources. I'm going to remove everything. Resume. I'll mark up the time a bit. There we go. So some people are getting busy with the fishing sort. The resources are going down. to assign some fishermen now. And the next thing I want to build is a resource menu, resource production. I want a woodcutter who will generate generate for me. generate logs, which should be forward, which means that everybody won't freeze to death. Um, increase those resources. So let's, let's harvest some more resources. Let's get the stone here. And the trees. Go. Play. So I'm going to have to beaver away at that. Watching for my woodcutter to come active. There we go, we'll have a woodcutter. So the next thing I want to do is find a reasonable area of land that I can exploit. It's my flat. That's what I have to, have to do for now. So, look. Oh, storage is near capacity. Pause for a minute. Let's build a forest and night food. A gatherer's hut. A gatherer's hut in the middle of the forest there. So I'm going to do is so I'm going to build some bridges just for laughs. Let's build a bridge. Can't 
build a bridge there. We can build a bridge there. We can build a bridge there. Can we collect those resources? Yes. So, starting the game off is quite tricky. Uh, you need food or you'll starve, you need logs or you'll freeze, and the next thing we need is um, a blacksmith to create tools. Logs is like I don't want to be limited to just 200 logs. Alright, so we need to harvest some resources. Let's pause again. So what I'm going to do is get all of them. All of them. Alright, is everybody, is everybody busy? Yes. This is one of the logs. Maybe they don't want 500. I want to save some of them. Some of them logs. For building my blacksmith. Oh, it's all right. Here it comes. We'll have a blacksmith. So we've got two builders and four labourers. Let's build a house. Next to our it's about gathering, the foresters will then basically you know, farm the forest. In the meantime, let's put in a livestock pen to put them cows in. some locks. Oh, 
viel oder mehr. trees still short of logs so this is one of the tricky things about this game is you uh, you can end up being prevented from building anything by a shortage of any one of the materials now especially if if you're uh, What you're waiting to build is something important for your resources, but you've not got enough resources to build it. You can all get a bit awkward and um, waiting, waiting around for stuff. It took me a few goes to really get the um, get get the whole. Um, Get the whole starting strategy correct. Right, so next thing we're going to build is some fields. Let's see, let's pass it down to here. So your men will automatically harvest, your villagers will automatically harvest anything that's underneath where you try and build a structure. You can also instruct people to harvest things like I've been doing already. Got 300 fuel. My pasture is uh, happily building up cows. You will gradually get more cows to see if they work right. Ooh, pumpkins. Got some farmers. I've uh, used up all the storage. Let's build. Let's build peppers in this one. Let's build new storage zone. Stockpile. Where can I put it? Quite handy. Right, now I've got enough people. I can farm neutral fields. So we've got some fields going on. Let's bump our population a bit by building a few of my houses. children and new population. population grows. There is a, a thing you can build later that's like a guest house. Uh, but I don't think people are so inclined to have children in them. So, I've been rabbiting on for 15 minutes. I've built a little town. It's a population of uh, 1, 2, 4, 6, 10, 14, 15, 19, 20 people which isn't bad for 15 minutes. This is how these games end up taking a long time. Uh, let's just quickly demonstrate. You can see how much fish I've caught there. This resource button. We've not actually farmed this yet. Not got much out of pasture either. 
Use lots of iron tools. Lots of firewood, out of my logs. What I'm going to do is um, pause the video for a while. I'll play this. I'll play this game on for you know half an hour or so, and come back and demonstrate what I've got to. Okay, so I'm back at a reasonably interesting point. This is the same town from earlier. You can see it's the middle of the winter. Built the tailors. There's a second woodcutter. Got an extra storage barn. A trading post which allows me to um, let's just see if we've got pepper. Let's have some pepper. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep a few things there just to uh, just in case people come along and want to see what I can trade. Uh, iron tools. Town hall, oh, boarding house, which is for you now sort of a town hall, which is this one I've got pinned up here, which lets me have a uh, complete overview of my uh, my town in one place. I've got currently 68 people. I'm low on logs, which has been a constant problem. We're producing quite a lot. Where's my inventory? Graphs of stuff going on. No nomads writing this time. Uh, looking to complete the collection there. Right, what else have I got going on? I've got a school. So you'll see now I can have children and students. I don't have any children because I've not built any new houses recently. So what I'm going to do is build some more houses now to expand my population a bit. I've got a field there. Pumpkin in. I'm just going to adjust just to maximise my farmers. I'm waiting for another uh, forest lodge here, which will soon be complete and will get me another sort of logs. Um, I've built a stone path here. I have a second fishing dock. Several pastures now. A couple of orchards. I'm not really. I need, need to build a brewery. Really take advantage of the orchards. Not done that yet. Um, hunting cabin going on. Forest large right. Gather a hut. So what I do is stick. Oh, how much stone have I got? Forty. Stone to take build a house. 40. Let's build some more wooden houses first. Rotating round. River view. Initial collection of cows. Twelve, twenty-seven, thirty-six cows now. Low and stone, low and stones and logs. That finished building yet? Come on, finish building. Finish building. Come on. Nearly there. This is going to be a market, which is a uh, large storage storage area. I haven't got any iron at the minute, so I probably need to collect some of that. Oh, there's a trader. 
So if I had loads of resources, I could buy chestnut seeds and wheat seeds at this point. And that would that would help fill out that. But I don't. In fact, I haven't really got much I can really trade with them. Let's see. the foot limit of food. So let's just put the limit. Just we'll sort that out. It's not much point pretending I, I don't need the food. So with some minor crises we're uh, we're tripping along quite nicely here. Yes. 
still getting built. Logs are limiting my resource at this point. See how the game goes along. Uh, you know, if you're into this sort of game, you probably, like me, play it for hours and hours and hours. Um, if you're not into this sort of game, you might be just. What should we do? This going, huh? Uh, there's some interesting stuff here. I can build mines and quarries to get stone and iron gathering around. I've not built a tavern yet, which lets you take advantage of the uh, ooh, traders. Market. Let's add one. There we go. Market is basically a, a big storage area, as far as I can tell. find yourself limited by a particular resource, it can all go downhill very, very fast. And basically everyone dies. So one thing leads to another. Still, very addictive game, worth checking out if you're into these uh, city management style games. Free Civ, I suppose. Civilization rather, SimCity. All that sort of uh, all that sort of genre. I'm I'm really 
enjoying this and I'll probably play it for many hours more oh, I'm up to 70 citizens I'm uh, a requesting membership got some children going on yes attention to is quite nice you can see your citizens wandering down the stone paths that you've created for them slight misjudgment there and I couldn't uh, can't build a path all the way over the bridge, but never mind. And cows. Oh, that cow's sort of escaping. Excellent game. Um, I recommend I recommend you buy it if uh, if you're into into those you know the similar games I discussed just now. Uh, I'm gonna leave it there for now. Save the game and uh, I'll carry on with this after you've gone.